can't even see me. Where is Luke? Where is Luke? Can't even, I'm nowhere. I'm nowhere. What's up, everybody? What's it's, up? It's Luke again. I'm here at Spear America in Irvine. And today we're talking about wetsuits and what makes a free dive wetsuit a free dive wetsuit because I honestly have no idea and um, I just come here and they tell me what works and every time I go out it seems to keep me warm and uh, and it seems to work so yep this is the owner of Spear America Petros and he's gonna tell us today why a free diving wetsuit what makes a good free dive wetsuit as you can see from behind me with all the pretty colors there's a lot of different options um, I see a lot of people wearing this one they all seem to like it Yep, they do. Maybe so, it's just a price. Oh, okay. Well, there you <laughs> go. Um, so, Petros, first off, why a free dive wetsuit over like a surf wetsuit or a scuba wetsuit you see in a scuba shop and whatnot? Okay, there is many ways to say this. A uh, scuba wetsuit, uh, the way it was described to me once was that it's like driving convertible up in the mountains, snowing, having the convertible open and the heat blasting. So <laughs> if water is really moving around, you are not gonna keep warm. So what a, an open cell wetsuit, or what is a free dive suit, is an open cell wetsuit, a, a single lining on the outside, no lining on the inside, so it's just the spliced uh, neoprene, chloroprene, and that's what actually has a gazillion suction cups, let's put it like that, that sticks to your body and creates pockets, so once you, submerge yourself in the water, it actually uh, traps the water in whatever gets in and it gets warmer with your body temperature. Uh, a surf suit cannot achieve that, that's why a surfer, if a surfer were to do a free diving, would last maybe half an hour because before they start shivering. Scuba diver, the same thing. Scuba, uh, scuba diving is all about uh, convenience because they carry all the heavy equipment, we don't carry the heavy equipment. So if they had to wear a a suit like this one, they wouldn't do scuba diving, they would just drop the bottles, really. <laughs> yeah, so with free diving, why is, most people don't know this, like I didn't when I started off going to a scuba shop, like most people out there and maybe some of you out there, um, why is it so important to be warm when you're spearfishing free diving? Uh, obviously, scuba diving and free diving is a completely different sport. You want to be stealthy, you want to be relaxed, uh, you, you are in an environment that you just try to have your heart rate be as low as possible. If you start shivering, you're not going to be able to control your heart rate. You, you want to hold your breath as long as you can and uh, you want to blend with the environment. And that has nothing to do with the camo really. It's your uh, psychology, really, your, uh, how do you say, the physique? Um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, if you are cold, you are not going to achieve that. If you are warm and you, and when we dive, let's say competition diving, you go out for seven to nine hours. So, you cannot be out in the water for more than two hours, let's be yeah easy with, a, with a scuba suit or a, a surf suit where a, a good free dive suit and you know it depends on the conditions you're gonna go in hawaii you're gonna need a three millimeter suit you're gonna be in california local water southern california five millimeter suit will last will be good for most year but you go northern california you definitely need a seven millimeter suit you cannot get away with a scuba suit up there or a surf suit so in California, in Southern California at least, primarily, I know when I started off, I started off with just a basic five mil suit and that lasted me for a bit, but then as I got into lobster diving and such, I wanted to get a seven mil um, as I started, you know, for what I love doing, blue water hunting and paddy hopping, you know, then I started to move into a three mil suit. Um, you know, what do you recommend for people going forth as their first suit? Is it still kind of the five mil and like yeah. start off with that? as you get more into it and you yeah. know, it becomes obsession. Um, if you are going to get one suit for Southern California, you're gonna get a five millimeter suit. And, and then eventually, depending on budget, you can either get a vest, if you don't have the budget, put inside the suit to, for more cold water, or just eventually progress to having three suits, a three millimeter, a five and a seven for all year round, for any conditions, any country. Yeah. So when I first bought my first free dive suit, um, I was actually not allowed to try it on because when you try it on, you're, 
you know, in in your birthday suit, so to speak, and you you do have to lube up, and that's important. But when you come in here, do you allow people to try on the suits? And and yes. how important is the fit for that suit for you to have success your first time out? Uh, I'm gonna put it differently. It's not that we allow people; we we force people to wear the suit before they leave the shop. Uh, I don't know how other people do it because if a person takes a brand new suit home and they try it on and then it doesn't fit, one, they probably most likely they would have destroyed the suit on the inside because it was their first suit and then they come back and then there you go, bad customer service uh, because the shop owner, you know, is not going to take a, a used suit now at that mm -hmm. point, damaged suit, he's not going to take it back. Yeah. So. And that's, it just serves no purpose. That's kind of what happened to me my first time, and I ended up having to buy a second suit, and then luckily I met you. Now the last question that everybody wants to know, what is the best camouflage? Does, 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 okay, I'll be serious. Does the camouflage matter? So, I mean, you've been you've been doing this a long time. There's a lot of people that wear it, and then there's some people that you know wear black. A lot of people, like I see one guy here, who would tell you that camouflage does matter. <laughs> yeah. My opinion is that camouflage does not matter. It's it's uh, the way we act in the water that matters. And if you act like you're gonna threaten a fish, fish will feel threatened. If you act like you are in your normal environment, fish won't uh, react. Fish are colorblind in general, they just see shades. And they see patterns and you break broken patterns. So ourselves being in that environment, we already broke that pattern. It's, um, you know, I'm changing my pattern, mm -hmm. any movement I make. So yes, camo, let's say if you're going to sit down at the bottom for three minutes, yeah, the camo does matter because at that point, you blend it in, you've been sitting down there for three minutes, so it will count. I wear a black suit, I know dozens of people wearing black suits and shoot dozens, thousands of fish. So, uh, to each its own. Most people take the camo just for the picture, really. Yeah, it looks cool. <laughs> chicks, that's, that's a fact. Chicks dig it, and that's important. Yeah. Because if you don't look cool, I mean, really, does any of this crap matter? Like, it just doesn't. Yeah. Um, with that being said, guys, if you want to come down, check out more wetsuits. Uh, come to Spear America in Irvine, and now a new location in Redondo Beach with uh we're not done really we're, we're not done yeah the oh, best suit okay. really is a suit that fits the best and that's why we put people in a suit to make sure we find the best suit yeah so now come on finish. come on down to spear america try these on and uh get the right customer service and i'm gonna now disappear <laughs> <laughs>